I just did my makeup. We have a girl. Okay. I unexpectedly spent way too much money at Brandy Melville. So different location to see the outfit. The offer was better than what I could imagine. I'm back from Brandy. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Good morning. We have a girl on the vlog. Hello everyone, we just made it to Florida. I realized that I didn't bring my uh, extra battery. So this vlog will probably be a little bit shorter than I wanted, but it is what it is. I didn't even know if I could bring it into the F1 tournament. So for now, it kind of works out, but got in last night, really late last night. Um, and we are just having breakfast, gonna get ready and hopefully then head out um it's a little bit humid and cloudy today but hopefully a nice day on the track i think that's the right verbiage on the track here's my outfit i'm wearing top is from old navy just like old this is from aloe it's a skirt. shoes are on cloud and then i'm bringing this bag my bottega dupe from amazon and i'm wearing this hat i don't know if i'm gonna end up wearing it it's a little bit short but We'll see. Okay, bye. Hello, everyone. We've made it to day three. Just filled up our water bottles. Ready to go. It is 80 degrees here today, so a little bit better than yesterday, but it's still really hot. I'm wearing a tank top from Target, shorts are Abercrombie, shoes are Stuart Weitzman, and then just like the usual jewelry get up. Oh, and then my Amazon bag. Apparently that was in the restricted requirements. So now we're gonna go get some lunch and then wait to see the races. I didn't bring an extra battery, so G plus. Hopefully this one lasts, um, but we'll see, fingers crossed. Food is acquired, I got some shrimp tacos. What'd you get, carne asada? Short rib. Short rib. Chips and guac. We're just hanging under this tree. Hello everyone, we are back home now. The race was finished. It was quite an epic day, but thankfully it wasn't as hot as it was yesterday, so I do feel a little bit more refreshed, but still like exhausted. Like full days with parents, it's a lot. So I'm ready for dinner. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. And then I have to pack up because I leave tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to go back to New York, um, which I'm very excited for. I miss my bed. I miss my stuff. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like it's been like three days. Like I don't even know. Low tolerance, but let's show the outfit. So different location to see the outfit, but the top is Durf Avenue. The belt is IRO or IRO. Who knows? The shorts are Abercrombie. They're these like little tailored shorts. And then I'm just gonna wear Birkenstocks, I think. Um, it's very casual in Delray Beach, so I don't even, even this is probably like a little too dressy, um, but I just wanted to dress up, wear something different, and I brought a lot of like really interchangeable basic pieces, so I could easily dress them up with something fun like a belt or like a chunky earring. Um, and I just put my hair up because it's dirty and I didn't have time to wash it, so we make do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to dinner and then pack up tonight. I'm going to call Carly later too, and then I'm ready to be back in New York. Hello everyone, we are back in New York. It's my first full day. Um, recap of F1, it was great, it was fun, but I'm tired. Um, yeah, parents just are tiring. They have they want to do a lot and they're really energetic and I'm excited to be back in New York where things are a little bit slower paced. Um, I, yeah, as you saw from the last vlog, I did get an offer. Um, it hasn't been put in writing yet, so I'm waiting to get the paperwork. And while I wait, I'm still going to be interviewing because you just never know. And I want to make sure I have all my boxes checked going into this. Um, I don't want to give anything up until I've signed anything because, like I said, you just never know and you need to be prepared. But um, it is so exciting. I have my interview at 1 with another company, and then at 2 o'clock is when we have the offer read through they've given me a verbal offer if you will but we don't have the details laid out so that's what they're gonna do which i actually really appreciate that they're gonna be not only giving me the offer on the phone but also walking me through it having the time for me to ask questions um and just yeah it, it's just really appreciative and this was my top choice so i'm about to start my offer call i just got done with the interview 
Um, I felt really bad because this girl was just not prepared. I think she didn't know what to ask me. She didn't really know what role I was applying for. Um, I think she just was kind of thrown into it last minute and yeah, it just was not a great conversation and I feel bad because I've had good conversations with everyone in the past, um, but this one was <clears throat> not good. So again, really hoping that this offer is a good one because <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm ready to get off the table. I'm ready to start working and I'm just ready to put this all behind me. You guys, uh, the offer was better than what I could imagine. I feel like I was even like a little bit flabbergasted on the call because I just wasn't expecting it. Like I gave them what would be my perfect offer, like would accept 10 out of 10 and they went above and beyond on it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm laughing because I even said in that last clip, like, I'm going to be professional. I'm going to keep it together. And I was just like, I'm so excited. Like, I, I was literally lost for words. So I'm going to go look up the fine print now. They just sent it over to me. And yeah, my start date would be May 30th. So I have a few more uh, weeks with you guys. And then I'd be back on my grind, which is kind of crazy. Um, but we do need to figure out some things for St. Bart's because apparently the flights for St. Bart's, we come back on Tuesday. Um, so may need to figure that out with Austin on what we can do there, just because I didn't realize the 30th was the Tuesday. I thought the 30th was the Monday. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, and then other than that, I'm just really excited. I'm gonna do some math on the final amounts, but I'm like, Today did not turn out as planned. I've been scrolling a lot, so I'm finally making it out, but it's six o'clock and I'm kind of like, Ugh. I took a lot of time to do the background check. I wrote some emails and now I really need to go walk outside. Like I feel antsy inside because I haven't gone outside yet today. So I'm gonna go return something to Madewell and then I'm gonna stop at Whole Foods to pick up something for dinner because I don't have anything. Not sure what I would make yet. Probably something easy because it's just for me, um, but yeah, let's head out. Hello everyone, we are back from the grocery store and actually got a little carried away, but why not? The day is young. Uh, tiramisu to celebrate my job offer. I also got these farmer's market strawberry cones um, from Cool House. Farmer's market strawberry ice cream cone and they're dipped in chocolate with a waffle cone. I also hauled home the Spindrift Blood Orange Tangerine. It's just that good. It's delicious. And then inside the big bag, I'm gonna go through a few things. Some parsley, which I'm gonna make for a chimichurri because I got a skirt steak on sale. And then I got a spatchcock chicken for tomorrow. Austin's finally coming home from Miami, so we'll have that ready to go. Strawberries were on sale. I'm gonna freeze those for my smoothies. Shallots, which are my favorite, like onion, tomato. Some more avocados, they're on sale. Lemons, necessary. And then I'm gonna make a salad tonight with some shaved whoop, fennel. Got a fennel, a garlic bulb, and last but not least, some celery for my green juice. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. I woke up a little bit late because I stayed up a little bit late. Um, whoopsie. But I'm up, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm really gonna try to get a walk in and just some movement because yesterday I did not move much. Um, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then yeah, I'm gonna bop around. I might actually go get my hair cut today because it's just, looking kind of gross so okay you guys i just accepted my offer i'm very excited um the only thing that's funny is that they have like new hire classes every two weeks so i had to start on the 13th and shoot their teeth is my birthday and so they're like oh you also get birthdays off but um not this year y'all but i just make myself a little bit of a smoothie i'm gonna have a little bit of this finish it up I'm gonna actually watch my first vlog from when I got laid off because I feel like it's a full circle moment and then I'm gonna go to Soho and just browse just chill just hang out I feel like it's a beautiful day I'm gonna go to the pool at Equinox tomorrow so I don't really want to go today 
So I'm like, where can I go in the meantime? And I was like, Soho. So I'm gonna go browse Zara, do, I don't know, walk, just be outside and be in a different neighborhood. Um, and yeah, I'm just, good day to celebrate. Here's my outfit of the day. I'm copying something I saw in Omni Song. She had it a little bit cuter, but it's all good. Durf Avenue button down, skort from Aloe. I'm just wearing a tote bag. I wanted to wear this Goyard bag, but when you're doing a subway trip, sometimes you just can't be bothered. And then I'm wearing my Adidas Sambas. I would have liked to wear the New Balance 990s, the gray ones that everyone and their mother has. Definitely cuter and like less dark, but whatever. And let's go. I'm, like I mentioned, heading down to Soho, do some browsing. I'm actually gonna also go to Sally's because I think I'm going to dye my hair against Serlina's wishes. Um, I'm gonna highlight my hair, I'm gonna dye it because I can't afford to go to the salon and do it. I just simply cannot shell out $300 to put little highlights in my hair, like no, absolutely not. Um, so yeah, let's go. about but whatever we're gonna eat it right now and then go back home back from brandy I'm gonna show you guys what i got um, the first thing i'm really excited about were the low rise sort of dare i say carpenter slash painter pants that i tried on i'm looking at them now they're not in perfect condition great but i paid 35 dollars for them so low stakes they're low rise they have a clasp and then a zipper and then they have a pretty like decent straight leg um it was a good length on me and i really wanted a pant i had sold my linen pants that i wore last year and i wanted something that was still light and breathable but wasn't going to be see-through and these were just that um they do have pockets in the back they're really small and then pockets on the side and they're just super comfy like sometimes you need a summer pant that you can just throw on with anything that doesn't feel like jeans but isn't sweatpants you know what i mean like a little more elevated then i got this dress here which is funny because you've probably seen something like this on instagram i wore one to the south of france last year but the difference was, is that one was ill-fitting. It was, I should never have kept it, but whatever. So I got this one and it's more of a cloth material. The other one I had bought was more of a like button down shirt, sort of crisp material. This one's definitely a lot more flowy, cottony, um, a really good appropriate length. It has buttons down the front and it's suede. Um, in the try on, I tried on the one without the collar and then I last minute decided that I did want the collar. Um, I feel like the color makes it look a little bit more dressed up and I am liking the more dressed up side of things these days. Then um, I bought a bunch of these little boy shorts for sleeping. Um, I've been meaning to get these, these were $10. Really soft and comfy, great to sleep in now that it's warmer. I got four of them, which was quite a lot, but they were $10 each, so pretty good. And then last, just a few more things. I got two of these tank tops. This tank top was just perfect, chef's kiss. It was so flattering. I think it matches perfectly with all the bottoms that I got and then also the, the pants that I got. 
And then I also got it in a navy color because I love navy for the summer. Move away black, just kidding. Then I got a black headband. I believe this is black. Who knows? Oh, it doesn't say. It looks black to me. And this is just the exact same headband as the white one that I literally was wearing to death this winter. So I wanted to get it in white. No, this is definitely navy. The more that I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is navy. But regardless, a dark colored headband, I love these things. I mean, you guys. Literally, like, this outfit, all summer long. So cute. I love the pants and like I know we're anti low rise but it's so comfortable to not have something like squeezing up in your stomach I have to say um, so I appreciate that and they're super comfortable and then I love the tank top you guys can see this detailing it has this like thicker strap detailing so cute what a hit I don't know what it is about Brandy Melville these days but um I'm all about it so I'm gonna quickly freshen up my makeup and maybe like fix up my hair a little bit and then Cher and I are gonna go out somewhere in Williamsburg so thankfully I don't have to get too dressed up and maybe I'll wear a skirt it's beautiful outside or maybe I'll wear these pants because why not I just did my makeup I'm really into this like sort of smoky lash line with like a bronze eye I saw that it was on Sophia Richie's makeup artist's, like her wedding makeup artist's look. And I was like, oh, I should try that out. Um, but I'm wearing the Dura Lip Glow. I've got my Lily Clasp earrings. I'm wearing this cute little button down. And then I have like a cute little bra underneath. It barely pokes through, but you know, it's just the essence. And then I'm wearing my new brandy Melville pants, Sambas, and then my uh Amazon Jody bag. <laughs> um, we're going to Sauced, which I haven't been to, but it's like a natural wine bar. Should be really fun. And then if I end up going out with my friends tonight, I'm going to need to come back and change because I look like very casual. Um, so we'll see. But if not, this should be great. And I love it. I can't wait. It's like 65 outside. I'm like, get me out there.